hello hello everybody welcome back or welcome if you are new come join me in the kitchen today we had company coming over so i wanted to make something delicious we're gonna make a big pot of lasagna soup some cheesy garlic breadsticks and then i'm gonna make a caramel apple snack tray to go along with our movie I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the dough for the cheesy garlic breadsticks. I'm just using my favorite recipe that I have been using forever. Y'all know I use this for absolutely everything. Loaf bread, rolls, cheesy garlic breadsticks, cinnamon rolls, like everything. It's just my favorite. Pizza rolls, y'all, I'm telling you, this is just like my basic recipe and I just turn it into whatever my heart desires. So I will have the recipe that I've been using linked down below. Plus I'll add my notes to it as well because I do change a few things compared to the original recipe. But we're going to go ahead and get this going because it'll take about an hour and a half. I'm going to let it run its cycle and we'll work on something else. I wanted to serve a fun little snack tray while we were watching our movie, so I went with a caramel apple tray. This was a big hit last year, and once again, it was another big hit this year. They're so good, and you can change out the toppings and add anything that you wanted to. I just did some mini chocolate chips, pumpkin seeds, some dye free M&Ms, and then I did some chopped salted peanuts. My favorite combination this time was to dip the apple in the caramel and then add some chocolate chips and some pumpkin seeds. It was so good. That salty sweet combination was delicious. Definitely give that a try if you haven't. But that's one of the good things about these is that you can literally add any kind of toppings that you want to. And it's so much easier, in my opinion, doing it this way because everybody can just kind of make their own. And this is such a fun little thing. This container I absolutely love as well. I think I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. It does have a lid, so it's so easy just to put the lid on it when you're done filling it and you can, you know, pour, put it in the fridge and you know have it ready for whenever you need it and you can also like refill this and keep it in your fridge and then just have a quick and easy snack tray whenever you need it I had some downtime before I needed to start the soup while I was waiting on the bread dough. So I went ahead and tidied up the kitchen just to help me stay ahead of the game because y'all already know when you're in small spaces, you got to kind of keep up with things and clean as you go. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. Just tell me where and I'll come see ya 
I did do a full batch of this in the bread machine, so I'm going to take and divide this in half. I'm going to do half as the cheesy garlic bread and then the other half as a loaf of bread. Once I add the cheese and everything on, I will cover everything and then I let it sit for another 30 minutes and let it do its final rise. And then I bake them off in my air fryer toaster oven. Don't forget, I will have the recipe link down below for the dough itself, but I don't follow a recipe for the cheesy garlic breadsticks. I honestly just kind of was, you know, rolling with it. I have done this before where I did it as like a pocket and did kind of, I guess you would say more like dominoes, you know, like where it's the cheese in the middle and all that. Um, but this time I decided just to leave it flat. And so what I like to do is I make a garlic butter I just melt some butter, I add some garlic powder and Italian seasoning, and then I just pour that over the dough. And then I take and add all kinds of cheese, whatever cheese you want, I load that on top. And then I like to pre-cut mine. So I will cut them as what you know, whatever shape I want, and then I will cover them and let them do that final rise. And then I'll bake them off. And y'all, these were so, so good. I noticed one thing about when I pre-cut dough like this is that it comes out after it's baked like pull apart bread and so it is so easy and that way you don't have to worry about cutting it after it's baked. If you just pre-cut it then you can easily just kind of like pull the breadsticks apart. Now it's time to start on my lasagna soup. I've got my pot out. I'm going to add some avocado oil and I'm going to cook down my onions and carrots for a little bit and then I will add in my meat. Now I did not follow a recipe for this. You can literally find so many recipes for lasagna soup online. I'll try to find something similar and link it but I have been seeing so many different creators try this you know now that it's getting cooler and you know falls in the air and I knew that I needed to try this one especially with us being in an RV now that I've made this and the, it is so good I would much rather make this it's so much easier than to have to make like a whole pan of lasagna and try to fit that in my air fryer toaster oven you know so like for us this was delicious and I absolutely loved it I would rather fix this than a pan of lasagna like for real this was so easy and you still had the flavor and it was delicious and paired with those cheesy garlic breadsticks chef's kiss it was delicious so i'm going to cook down my meat i had a half a pound of turkey and then a pound of just regular hamburger meat there once that was cooked down i drained off the grease i did season the meat i did salt pepper and garlic powder just while it was cooking 
Once I drained the grease, I added two jars of pizza sauce or like spaghetti sauce. And then the only stock that I had in my pantry was turkey stock. So I used that, but if I had, I would have done beef. I try to, you know, stick to the same protein, which technically there was still turkey in this. Um, so it worked out fine. But if I had beef, I would have done beef. And then I let that kind of simmer a little bit. I added in my spinach and then I just chopped up a few lasagna noodles. I really wasn't sure. A few people said, you know, to kind of go a little bit less. That way it didn't get too thick and it was more just like, you know, a pasta instead of a soup consistency. So I just added in a few of the noodles. They do make like small little lasagna noodles, but I couldn't find any of those. I'm sure I could have ordered them online, but y'all know me i try to just use what i had on hand and there's nothing wrong with breaking up these big noodles because it worked out perfect it was a little messy there ended up being pieces of noodles everywhere and i had to go you know clean up I gave everything one last season. I did some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. I just seasoned with my heart, and then I'm just gonna let this simmer on low until my noodles are cooked through and the cheesy garlic bread is done. Now it's time to enjoy this delicious spread. To top the soup, I took a little bit of ricotta cheese and I seasoned it with some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder. I topped that on top of each of the bowls and then I added some extra shredded cheese on top. Y'all, this was hands down, definitely a new fall favorite, winter favorite. I'm definitely gonna be making this recipe again. I hope y'all enjoyed spending some time with me in the kitchen and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.